Zack Foster's life was a string of success and failures. A normal life. He always had a feeling deep within himself that he was meant to do more. He was supposed to do something no one had seen before. As a young child, he would see other children going down hills of snow on such ordinary pieces of plastic. What if he could revolutionize sleds? However, in a time where unique sleds were too taboo, Zack Foster's dream would have to wait. Zack Foster was born in a perfect moment, raised in an age that outcasted sled entrepreneurs. He gained the ambition to prove society wrong. Cookie cutter sleds did not have to be that norm. As he grew up, his life began to drift in a way that would make his dreams a reality. A designer would not be able to physically make a traditional sled. Zack Foster became a designer. Only one area in the country would give him the opportunity to build a unique sled without persecution. Zack Foster moved to Maryland. The stars were aligning. His dream was coming close to reality. He was going to make a sled the world had never seen before. This sled was not only going to look different, but go down a hill different. Zack Foster did not want to slide down a hill. He wanted to roll down it. Zack Foster was going to give the sledding community a slap in the face. The greatest sled they will ever see was going to be vastly different from their basic versions. The closed-minded people would have to open their minds to a new idea of what a sled could be. Cedar Ridge's Cardboard Sled Derby would be the staging ground for history. Here, unique sleds come to challenge each other. Here, Zack Foster would prove that in both traditional and non-traditional communities, his sled would reign supreme. Zack Foster was not going to stop in America. He wanted to show the world that sleds needed to be different. こんにちは。私は今日この変なビデオを撮っています。でも大丈夫です。なぜなら今日のこのビデオは全く意味がわからないからです。そして私は下痢をしています。しかし私は大丈夫です。なぜならこのビデオのために私は意味のわからない日本
What did I just waste my time on? That's Jeremiah videoing the video because he thinks this is not going to be sufficient, which is arguably true. Yo, you realize you're not going to be wearing this, huh? Yeah, I know. I kind of want to make it for something now, though. Like, Ragnarok helmet. I miss But nothing broke off except the handle. Guys, I'm going to die in here. You're not going to die, Zach. Ian, you guys are the worst. I'm going to use my phone. Wow. Hey, that's like my face. I'm marking it. You're fine. Because it's two layers thick. You don't know how to translate it? Come on. You've never said you had bad diarrhea in Japanese. No, I, th I think those are internal comments that I keep to myself. It's like a pamatory. Okay. My only option. However, this is a lot. Not, this is slower, so like once that starts going 45 miles per hour, it's not going to be as good as it is. Oh, no, can let me do. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Hello. Because Zach broke it, I'm giving it more structural integrity. No, you're not. Uh, be right back. What? Oh, we're back. And that is spelled Bush. Back. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Are you sure you're going to break on? It it's, it's kind of like Zack Snyder, but Zack Foster. It's like, um, it sounds like a director's name. And you're recording this right now. Ha, ha, ha.